Welcome back. We need to uh, sabotage the compass, as bad as that sounds. We really have no choice but to uh, get this ship back on course for Elias. But we cannot do anything with the compass as long as uh, the captain and Tan Layek are up there. We need to find something to distract the captain with. So maybe if we can make him think that there's something wrong with the apples, which is our only supply of food besides any fish that we catch, he'll be distracted enough to leave the bridge. But what can we do to make him think there's something wrong with the apples? Hmm. Well, maybe we'll we can find something down here. I don't look forward to another night in those. I had a dream I was on a roller coaster all night long. And I can't stand roller coasters. Again, I don't really sympathize. Because I sleep just fine. It's a sturdy wooden chest. It's empty. Okay. Flower sack. What uses having flour on board if uh, all we have are apples? It's a flower sack. And an axe. Hmm. There's a worm crawling over this uh, flower sack once in a while. There he goes. A big fat worm. Maybe if we put that worm on the apple, the captain will think there's worms in the apples. Let's see if we can catch him. He got away. Hmm. Seems it's a bit too fast. Maybe we can. Uh, Make it stick around a little longer. What did we just get? Oh, no. candy wrapper. It's a colorful candy wrapper. The worm got stuck. Yes, got me a worm. Uh, and this is good because? Because... It's a hungry looking worm. Because we can put him in the apple. Get to it, little guy! Eat your heart out! Okay, now if we show that to the captain, hopefully he'll think there's something wrong with the apples, and that will be reason enough for him to leave the bridge. What is it now? Captain, the worms have invaded the apple barrel. Curse it be the balance. First the storm, now this. Is there no end to the horrors? Let me see. Jowl's infected arsehole, you be right. Those are worms, all right. Vicious, snarling wheat worms driven mad by their hunger for a change of diet. Very likely. As far as I could tell, that was the only apple infected. But I could be wrong. Good of you to catch it, girl, before it's spread any further. I'll have to go pluck the apples immediately. They must be saved. And so he calmly walks downstairs. No hurry. Okay, well, we still need to get rid of Tan. Do you want me to relieve you at the wheel for a while? I am not sure if this is such a good idea, April. 
What's the big deal? I just hold it straight, right? Not quite. Well, I could do with a short break to stretch my legs. Fine, but I will be back soon. And if anything happens, just call out for help. Of course, thanks. I hate to break this to you, April, but there's a little more to holding the wheel of a ship than holding it straight. Nuh uh. Like they won't notice if I turn the boat around? I'll have to think of something else. Especially considering there's a storm approaching, so there'll probably be some pretty big swells uh, right now. In which case, there really is more to it than holding it straight. And Tan is being incredibly irresponsible for leaving it in that, in that situation. But anyway. It does give us the uh, opportunity to sabotage the compass. So if the compass was pointing in that direction when we were on course for Elias, and now it's pointing in this direction... Oh, hell. I'll just wing it. Use the force, April. After all, who's the chosen one here? Yeah, I wouldn't come to depend on that too much. Ton, need some assistance up here. A diary entry. Feel a little better now, which is kind of worrying, because I so don't want to get used to this. I'm a definite land person, soil between my toes like the Bandu Elder said. A short time ago, the captain ordered the navigator to change course, to take us away from a storm front. Now, I know he probably has the best interests of his crew at heart, but I gotta think about the rest of the world, as well as my world. I need to get to Elias quickly. I feel that time is running out, and this chaos storm is only a harbinger. So, using the talisman Tobias gave me on the compass, I think I managed to fool them into putting us back on course for the islands. Now I'm just praying they won't notice before it's too late, and that the storm won't catch up with us. I've been lucky so far. I'm counting on my luck to lose it lasting just a little bit longer. Please? That's just tempting fate, uh, April. <laughs> Writing that. Let's tell Tan that we may have strayed off course. I think I may have strayed off course a bit when I was at the wheel. I did not feel the boat turning. Well, I have a feeling we're gonna miss Gien by a couple hundred kilometers if we don't correct our course. Let me check the compass. By the balance, you are right, April. It is good you were aware of your mistake, or we might have ended up pierced on the deadly reefs of Tagate. I will correct our course immediately. Sorry about that. Oh no, I let you take the wheel. I'm just glad we are back on course. Y yeah, back on course. <clears throat> Is it my imagination, or is the storm getting closer? By the balance, you are right. The storm is catching up with us. We might have to ride it out. It is good we are nowhere near the islands, or we would have to worry about reefs as well. Uh-oh. Reefs? Nobody said anything about reefs. Ton, I have something to tell you. Captain! Sir! We need you on the bridge. The storm is closing in. April, you may just have screwed up big time. He's still not in any hurry. <laughs> By the foul bowels of jaw, you're right, Lyak. It's closing in faster than any storm I've seen or heard, chaos or otherwise. It's like it's chasing something or someone. All right. Listen up! The storm's going to hit in an hour or two. And I want everything to be ready. Tighten the hatches, strap down the cargo, wake up the watch, and by Joe's big toe, someone put a lid on the apple barrel! 
Uh-oh, here comes that storm. This does not look good. But we'll have to deal with this storm in the next video.